Hi, this is Joe C, the Website Wizard. I'm an expert on internet marketing for small businesses and I build websites. I create logos for branding, uh, business cards, and I link businesses online to uh, social media, other websites, etc. And uh, this is a brief explanation, okay, of the way one would approach web marketing for a small business. At the center of your marketing strategy will be your website. Okay, now everyone needs a website now nowadays for your business, no matter what the business is. And the website needs to be connected to all these other ancillary web presences. Now on your website, you would have your logo. And I'm going to use one of my websites and one of my businesses for an example. I have a music website. Um, I've produced music and written music for TV, including the Kardashian series. And I also have a uh, YouTube channel that has uh, piano lessons on it. <clears throat> and I have a website and business card. I have affiliates, I have email, obviously. I have other websites I'm connected with. I'm connected to social media. And that's what everyone really has to do nowadays. This is your online store for no matter what your product or service is. Uh, this is really what you have to do in today's current uh, climate, cyber climate. Now, if you look here, Here's my business card, which is also my logo, and you'll find this all over the place on all of my sites. You need a logo for your business, no matter what that business is. This is a big part of branding. People are very visual. They need to see something over and over and over again in order for them to get in their minds who you are and what you do. All the big companies know this. All the biggest brands in the world are very aware of how to brand. Of course, they have multi-million dollar budgets. Take McDonald's, for example. That's a great example of branding. Anywhere you go in the world, you see the golden arches. You know what McDonald's is. You know what they serve. You have an idea what it costs. You know what kind of service you're going to get in there. Um, I actually did um, product control for McDonald's for a brief period of time and they are a very tightly run ship. They want all of their affiliates, all their franchises to adhere to a strict set of rules. Okay? And that's one thing that makes them such a great brand is they deliver. They market and they deliver on their marketing. Any company you think of that's well known internationally, same thing. Coca-Cola has a logo you could recognize it anywhere in the world. Even if you're illiterate, you know Coca-Cola when you see it. Marlboro cigarettes, anywhere in the world, you'll see that Marlboro logo. An illiterate person can walk into a gas station and buy Marlboro cigarettes and know what they're getting. I'm not advocating cigarettes. <laughs> but that's just a fact. And that works with any product. Captain Crunch. You can all look at that Captain Crunch. He's changed a little bit over the years, but he's basically been the same and we all know what we're getting when we buy Captain Crunch or any huge product Tide think of anything like that any any product you buy branding is a big part of marketing any fast food chain it's the same way any chain store Walmart has a logo you all know okay they have that little flower on the side you can recognize that a mile off so everyone needs branding. Everyone needs that in their marketing. No matter how small your business is, you need that. People have to see something over and over again. When you see an auto commercial and you see um, for Toyota, for example, you'll see that commercial not once. You'll see it over and over again. Somebody has to see something four or five times before it makes any kind of a dent in their mind. We all know what the Toyota logo looks like. You all know what to expect when you buy a Toyota. Mercedes-Benz has the three-pointed star. That's one of the biggest 
branding products in the world. Everybody knows what you're buying when you buy a Mercedes Benz. It, everything has a three-point star. What does that represent? Affluence, luxury. Basically, you're saying to the world, I have more money than I know what to do with if I buy this car. And that's why people are getting it. Prestige. Okay? And the five-pointed star, everybody knows what that is. Every car has a logo, and you know what you're buying. When you see the ads, you see them over and over again. It takes a while for that to get into your head. Okay, so everybody needs a website. That's the hub. Everything revolves around the website. Your website, you need to have your contact information. You need to have your product or service displayed and explained. Like, for example, I'll go back to my music website. Um, I have videos on there, which are very important. I explain what I do. I have links to other websites. Um, if you look at, you can look at my website and see what I'm talking about. That's has that logo many, many times over on that website. Okay. Very important is your YouTube website and your videos. You need videos to put up on YouTube and you need to put the right clickbait in them, the right um, marks, the right tags, excuse me, the right tags to get traffic to your video. So you get somebody to put your video, look at your video, you have to em embed your contact information, your phone number, uh, your email address, your website address, you have to put that all in your YouTube video. And your YouTube video, you have to be able to go down into the information, click on it, get your website. Possibly get to other websites, other products, other affiliates pertaining to the video. You also need, uh, like I said, your email, your phone number, your other contact information. And if you look at my videos, they all have thumbnails that have that logo in one form or another on there. I have, I think now, over 130 videos. And I'm putting this on my music YouTube channel. It's also on my um, website wizard channel. And so the website has to be connected to YouTube. YouTube has to be connected to the website. So you can go back and forth. Same with social media. You have your website connected to your social media and back and forth. Also, you need to put your YouTube videos in your social media, uh, media timelines, your Facebook timelines. You also need your contact information there. In your email, and I would recommend using Gmail, it works easiest with YouTube. Also, it's very easy to embed your website and your contact information in the email. So every time you send out an email to somebody, they get your uh, website, your, well, they, you have your email, obviously, your phone number, and any products you might want to sell. Um, now, some of the products I sell and the other websites I have on my website, I have links to a website that features my original music. You can stream it or download it, you can buy it, you can audition it if you want to use anything, any of it or anything like it for your videos or movies or television product, uh, projects. There's also a link to my sheet music website. You can download sheet music that I have for original music and for my teaching videos. There's music that goes along with that. So, now I'm just talking about myself, but this applies to anybody. You could also have links to your prod products. I have links to other original music sites. Okay? And you can link to your products if you want to sell t-shirts, coffee cups, whatever it is you sell, or if your website mainly sells products like calendars, um, whatever it is you want to sell. Clothing, specialty clothing, 
uh, pens, pencils, advertising specialties, whatever it is that you sell. You have links to your product sites and you also have the products and you have an online store on your website. You could also have links to affiliate sites. I have links to affiliate sites that sell uh, not only sheet music but also pianos, other instruments and computers and a lot of other uh, tech stuff, stuff and things that musicians can use, travel gear, uh, clothing. You could actually affiliate with anything and connect that to your website. So you have all your affiliates. Okay, so I think we covered all the basics here. And I'll probably do some videos later uh, detailing more on what we do with the uh, different parts of this huge spider web. You see it gets confusing with all these arrows, but the basic principle is to keep the website at the center of all your web activities and have that link to everything else and have your logo and have your branding visible everywhere. Okay? Um, so you can contact me at uh, website wizard joe at gmail.com you can call me at 504-376-5438 um, I do web marketing for small businesses and branding and I also build websites I create logos I create business cards I can connect you with social media and give you strategies to work all these things. I can show you how to get affiliates or I can get affiliates for you. I could show you how to link to products, etc. Okay, so if you want to contact me, the uh, information is also going to be embedded below and you'll see how you can get into my little spider web here. Okay, thanks for listening. Have a great day.